Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how PubNub Stream Controller works with JavaScript. When we say Stream Controller, we are talking about the features that developers can use when implementing their app's PubNub channel topology. Features like multiplexing, channel wildcards, and channel groups empower you to write maintainable code that is efficient for client devices and scalable to millions of concurrent users. PubNub data streams often need to be restricted within an app to reach defined sets of users. In multiplayer games, updates can be issued to teams via a channel group or a wildcard channel, so messages for everyone reach everyone, but team-specific message streams are controlled. The same concept can be applied to chat applications and the like. Multiplexing is the PubNub design pattern where a client is subscribed to multiple PubNub channels at one time. Multiplexing is enabled by default, so all you need to do is provide an array of channels to the subscribe method. A client can subscribe to up to 50 channels at a time. What if you need to subscribe to more than 50 channels at a time? That is made possible by wildcard subscribe and channel groups. Stream controller must be enabled on your key set first, so enable it at dashboard.pubnub.com. Before we get into channel groups and wildcards, you need to understand the valid channel string characters. Anything goes for channel names up to 92 characters in length, except for the following special characters. Don't use any of these in your channel names, except for the dot. The dot character is important in wildcard subscribes. Wildcard subscribes are many channels within one. Valid wildcard channels can have up to two dots in them. Think of these channels as a tree data structure with a maximum height of three. The number of children that each node can have is unlimited, up to the 92 character total string length. Subscribing to a wildcard is considered one subscribe, however the client listens for messages on all channels under the wildcard expression. Channel groups are single subscribes that listen to multiple channels. Any user of your PubNum key set can create a channel group and subscribe to it. They must use the SDK's channel group methods to create a group. Channel groups can contain up to 2,000 channels at once, and a client can subscribe to up to 10 channel groups at a time. Across a PubNub key set, you can create an unlimited number of channel groups. Note that you must provide a channel groups array when you use the subscribe method. List channels is the one SDK getter method for channel groups. Any client can invoke it using a PubNub SDK or the REST API. Add channels, remove channels, and delete group are the three setter methods for channel group maintenance. Here we have an HTML page that is similar to the Publish Subscribe tutorial, except now we are subscribed to one wildcard channel and one channel group. We can specify which PubNub channel we want to publish our timestamp to using this UI. We can also add channels to the channel group that we are subscribed to. First, I'm going to try to publish to the wildcard. Notice that the channel name before the star is not included in the subscription. However, any channel on the first level is subscribed and also the second level. This is the maximum depth of the wildcard subscribe tree. Any more dots added to the string will be treated as the same channel. Next, I'm going to use this UI to add channels to the my-group channel group using the SDK add channels method. Notice that I do not receive publishes, but once I execute the add channels method, the messages reach this client. Let's take a look at the code. Here are the buttons and text boxes for configuring publishes and channel group additions. The button publishes a JS timestamp and the user must specify the channel using the text box. Here is where we add channels to the group during a button click. And this is the PubNub subscribe. Notice that channel groups need their own array in the subscribe method parameters. Remember that a single client can subscribe to up to 50 channels or wildcards and up to 10 channel groups at one time. Now you know how to control PubNub data streams in your awesome application. Message routing and gaming, IoT signaling, and data broadcasting can reach the right users in a scalable, maintainable manner. For more PubNub feature tutorials, visit pubnub.com and check out our developer resources. Thanks for watching.